Speaking of UTEP, the men's team suffered a 67-65 loss to Liberty last night in front of about 5,000 fans at the Don Haskins Center. Now, 5,000 fans was a bit underwhelming considering it was a Saturday night and one of UTEP's greatest basketball teams returned for a 20-year reunion. Nevertheless, the 2003-2004 UTEP men's team enjoyed the night. We caught up with some members of that squad and looked back at that very special season. On Saturday night, Members of the 2003-2004 UTEP men's basketball team returned to the Don Haskins Center for the 20-year reunion of one of the most memorable seasons ever. And this was uh, one of the great teams that I've ever seen play. This is one of my favorite UTEP basketball teams. The year was 2003. UTEP wrapped up a 6-24 season, one of the worst in program history. Ahead of the 03-04 season, the team was revamped. New additions like Filiberto Rivera, Omar Thomas, Jason Williams and returnees like John Tofi and Chris Craig all came together looking to do something special under the direction of head coach Billy Gillespie. That was the reason that we came here. OT, me, myself, Jason, and the whole group of guys knowing that we were one of the worst team that year, 6-24, and, and we wanted to rebuild it. The minor season started off with a bang. It wasn't a win over a blue blood or nationally ranked team. Instead, it was a win in an exhibition game over the Harlem Globetrotters. I think that's a sign of a team that has a chance to be pretty good, though. But we respected those guys, but we didn't fear anybody, and that's the way we're going to continue. We beat the Harlem Globetrotters team that beat several top Power 5 teams by 20 and 30. And once we beat them, I just knew that we had something special. After that win, UTEP went on to put together a 22-6 and six regular season and were the WAC regular season champions. Nobody was selfish. Nobody thought about I. We all thought about team first. We all got along. We all hung out. We partied together. You know, we did everything together as a team. You know, we became a great unit that way. That same season, UTEP earned an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament, a moment many on that team will never forget. They will face UTEP. I remember it like it was yesterday, like it was like overwhelming tears. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw me on there, but I have a really ugly cry face. That was the best, best feeling. Just that, that selection Sunday was crazy. Now UTEP was bounced out in the first round of the big dance by Maryland. Despite the loss, the team that tied the NCAA record for a single season turnaround, finishing the season 24 and eight, was welcomed back with open arms. And that was still the case 20 years later when the team returned to the dawn on Saturday to remember a special season. You know, the fans, you know, they always showed us love. And, you know, we're happy to be back, you know, especially with all my teammates. We haven't seen each other, you know, in a long time, so it feels great. Without that season, we don't have a brotherhood. You know, we all keep in contact until this day, so it, it was an amazing season. To say that we put uh, El Paso, like, back on top of basketball, it's j just an amazing feeling. I still get emotional thinking about it. Special uh, night last night. As for uh, Billy Gillespie, he was not in attendance for the reunion. Gillespie has actually been on indefinite medical leave due to ongoing medical circumstances since last November, according to Tarleton State, the university. He's the men's basketball head coach at, wishing Coach Gillespie a speedy recovery. That is your look at sports. We'll be right back after the break.